Okay, folks, here we are again, Grandpa Gary, down at the Salty Dog, and we have, uh, where'd Nick go? He went, took off there. And, uh, what's your name, on? Uh, Yulia. Yulia. Here's Yulia, and then, let's see, there's Brooke, and I forgot that lady's name already, but, um, we're loading her up. Here she goes. Again. I'm gonna see if we can... Pull this cold, off. Keep some of the cold air out this time. Keep the cold air out. Yeah. Try not to fall asleep. Uh, this one goes pretty quick. We don't fall asleep on this one. Yeah, I got a few refires going on. This is out the front up here. <laughs> and, uh, Somewhere around here will be our new leader, Vanessa, Vanessa Rose, and she's not here right now, she'll be around. This over here, we got some wood over here. Well, this furniture lumber. And of course they chainsawed it before they unbundled it. Now we got a bunch of short stuff and long stuff and mixed stuff and got to cut some more, but that's okay. And there's Vanessa. So we're working here. I got a few cups. Yes, sir. So anyway, that's what we got going. Did you bring this table, Gary? No, that lady who was doing the garbage did. Hmm. And these, notice I, I turned these so that the, that's level. You know, you kind of had them sort of different which ways. Yeah, you're right. So this one, you want that clay level. That's your new level. Okay. That's your new foot. And you can put one, well, you don't have to, but as long as there's similar heights. Mm -hmm. And it should feel, as long as it's not touching the... No, it is. Well, anyway, it's something to experiment with. I left. I left some back here, didn't I? So anyway, we'll get back to let her figure that one out. <laughs> Back here, oh, we got a passive air back here. Not for long. I think probably all you really need is this that much available. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Well, I forgot.
forgot to look at that chimney. And where did it go? Oh, that's where it went. Oh, that's where it went. <laughs> it went, went. That's safer. Did that chimney fall over? Or deteriorate off? I mean, the metal? We'll put it up tomorrow morning. Oh, okay. It goes up on ratchet straps. Yeah. Oh, and now there's the firebox wide open, so we get a good look at what that looks like. Get down there. For the first pile of ashes, and then the second. And some iron grate bars. That's a big firebox, boy. That are too big and too small. So anyway, I'm going to get back to loading later. So you're wondering about this stacking this place here, eh? You could if you want to. Nick. Oh, okay. I think it will... It has a high likelihood of warpage in that position. Yeah. Maybe that one corner will just dip maybe a half inch down onto that wad. But so. I like rocking plates. There's never... If it's, if it's a flat bottom plate anyway, it'll still be a good plate. It's a little dip. No, you got posts up all over there already. Uh, yeah. That's just the way it's going to be, I guess. You want to take a chance with it? I wouldn't understand. I wouldn't want to move a bunch of sand and water around in there, knock it down in the cups and whatever. Yeah. Could do more damage on stacking it, trying to make it right. Um. I was thinking about doing a full. Maybe take a pinch of clay and squeeze it to fill in that. That gap, you know, set this proper here, kind of, and, you know, maybe, see, if, you know what would be nice to have is those flat, oh, the real flat shelves, uh, the cockles or mussels or, oh. what, you know, the flatter one. Mm -hmm. uh, Are they oysters? Uh, I don't know, there's some kind of bivalve. See if you can budge it like that, fix it. And press it there. Yeah. Shimmed it back up. It looks good. Oh, the other side's not, that side's not touching. Oh, yeah. So you push it down just down. a little bit to get the right side. Everything else looked good. Yeah. That's close enough. Um, what do you think about doing that tall, st uh, full split st shelf? Or you want to do another four and a half? One more four and a half and then it's all that. Is there a tremendous one? Yeah, I think we can do that. You have to hold it up there with some of the other pieces. Yeah. Yeah, last time we had a shelf up there, two people holding it with the pots already loaded on it, and then yep. we brought in bricks from underneath. Four other people brought bricks in while two people were holding the shelf with the pots mm -hmm. so we could get it as up in that as possible. Right, so maybe we should do that next and then try to sneak the shorter stuff underneath it. Yeah, I think we didn't load these shelves. We went in and loaded them from the side so that we had the maneuverability to get that tall shelf in. So we could try that. Yeah, I'll hear him in a... Wow, this turned out to be...
be a pretty decent load of pots. Alright. Pretty tricky stacking up in there. Ooh, we got more room yet. That could use a few pieces. Probably use a couple more on there. Well, okay, we made some progress here, folks. So, what was your name again? I forgot. I'm Andrew. You're Andrew. This is Andrew. He's helping out too. Yeah. I got this bricked up almost. This, the hard bricks up. Gonna lay a soft brick on there. See how they're doing here. Yeah, there they go. Now they got this. Well, they can work and talk at the same time. How about that? <laughs> Is that a good spy hole there? How's that look? It's looking pretty. Groovy. Where's that come from? Where's that light coming from? Oh, me. Okay. Now we're closing up all the little air pockets. Talking about the. <laughs> So, and that side's almost yeah, done too. Trouble. Oh, good. We might need some brick on the other side when you're done walk here. Around, like, go about their studio. Like, here, this is what I do. Like, yeah. And then sometimes we'll have like. Well, up, see, do you see? Ooh, all right. There we go. Well, <clears throat> so I guess we're going to light it tomorrow. Anyway, break time. Be on it anyway. <laughs> yeah. Sorry I didn't get... Well, folks, here we are. We're back again. And we've got Vanessa and the crew. And she got the kiln lit. Now you're from Ann Arbor, so what what were you saying? You you've got a project, your all doctoral project in clay. No, there's a cross-disciplinary like um, program they're trying to set up, like a workspace, kind of like a portrait. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you guys just getting it going? Um. Yeah, we got it going in about one o'clock this afternoon. Um. Still had some. It's a yeah, the uh, the iron for steel chimneys, and we take it down when we're not firing. It's like the lady and. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So do you take your contact for steel for this? No, uh, I don't. I don't live here. Um, I just yeah, I just manage all the kilns. There's like the wood kiln here, and then there's a couple of electric kilns inside. Kind of run them. <laughs> No, I might see you here. Oh, I yeah. Okay. Here. Oh, okay. Yeah.
I just moved into a place with wires like this one ago, oh. so this is, yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm cool. really happy to have the opportunity to do some of these things. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> We're shooting for 2400. You can come in under the rain if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Get over here near the kiln where it's warmer. I've had thousands of these. I don't need them. <laughs> well, I guess I have, but close out of them. This is really good. Well, we'll take a break here. Let her discuss this with them. Alright. Oh. I bet we see a puppy back here, don't we? Yes, sir. A little mascot here. How you doing there, sir? What's your name? You're so quiet. How about that? Hmm. Whoops, I get my puppy break. All right, well, we got a little more moving along after our visitors there. Vanessa and uh, I forget that guy's name. They're up there. This is how they get the wood. Three cords or three tons. Got to take it all by yourself. We pull it out. There, somebody cut some of it, but need to learn learn them how to fill the saw buck and then cut it to length. See, we got this cut to here is one length to get those ends. There's another length of four foot, another length of four foot, and these are down at the end. Some of these are 12 foot long, so I have to balance them out a little bit. But that's how we do it. That way we get a whole shitload at once. We don't bleep here. <laughs> we maybe get the saw out. I don't mind. I got one here, but hopefully won't need to use my saw. And oh, good. We got a nice draft going on in there. Put the cones. I can't see yet. Oh, there they are, way up in there. <clears throat> Chances are they're not going to need a big stoke hole. Probably most they'll need is that. Maybe open that side. <clears throat> There's our good puppy. He's sitting sitting down there good, eh? Or just standing. I'm gonna I told I should ignore you. Yeah, that's the way you don't jump up on me. Alright, well. Other than that. Not much else happening. Later. Oh, well, before the light fades, we'll get this. I forgot to put the camera in somebody's hands, but I found out my old chainsaw still works. It was a matter of me, not the gas. It was just the old chainsaw puller. But we got her done. I think I'll take a break before it gets dark. And we got her going up a little more. Let's see what we got here. Packing the door in a little. Some holes. Take a peek on what's inside. Handle's not too hot yet. But that's what it looks like up in there. Looks like 
carbon starting to burn off. Does it? And uh, is that some homeless person stealing our cans? <laughs> Oh, just another potter heading to the stove. <clears throat> so that's how it looks. Now you think you'll be up in the top by the morning? He'll be up in the top by the morning, eh? <clears throat> but it still takes a while to get there from here, eh? I mean, you want to get some of the carbon burned off in the front before you go to the top. Or you would have to. I mean, wouldn't that be about as much as you could get? Or I'm not sure. I'm, I mean, it's been a while since I've checked how hot the chimney is. Should see about that. Seems like you just want to use this as long as you could. Yeah, for sure. Uh, then you want a coal pile built up to catch these. So, well, anyway, oh, and then we got the stack up here. Oh, that's not much smoke. That's good. It's just like a normal beginning of a stoke. Oh, just checking for how warm it is, eh? Uh, That's getting there. The middle's pretty hot, up to about six feet. Yeah. Too hot to touch. Too warm. <laughs> it's, well, it's not that hot. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hot up to about there. These are nine inches, right? Nine inch yeah. thick? Yeah. Well, I've always but thought that... Hmm? A little bit less heat on the side. Oh. <coughs> I had a guy tell me, I said I've used that, made them nine inch. I pulled this out a little bit before it got stuck in there. I thought of cutting another one of these, but I found a chip. And this one, I put a piece right here. So. Except I wouldn't be using fingers. I put gloves on those now. I wouldn't really mess with those until way the heck late, you know? Yeah, we don't have that much heat going that far in yet. I mean, people sometimes too many spy holes. You know, they always look and look and look and learn not to be a looky loosey loo or whatever they call it. Wash pot and all that stuff. Because that just adds draft, cold draft into the, on the cones. Well, you know, I think I might head out now, too, for if I get here tomorrow. Well, they say you can't see it on film, but I'm saying you can, maybe. There is flame coming out. Now, there's a good, there's a good oxidation flame coming out of there. And, uh, we finally got some good combustion going. We got the ash pit filled up enough to get... It's not any more backflow, and, and then uh, trouble is keeping our saws going. My saw won't start again. Tastes like alcoholic honey, and I'd rather have a honeyish wine. And uh, we'll see how she's, we got her figured out how to stoke a cycle here. When we get the bottom filled. Keep that up. I'm part Viking. And we're stoking through here now. Okay. Got it rigged up because all this real skinny stuff. 
Just need a little hole for it. Don't need a big glory hole. We're not doing logs. We're doing sticks. You ever want to build a miniature kiln and fire with toothpicks? Yeah. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> Can't do that on a big kiln, though. I can make some tiny pots and fill it in a tiny kiln with tiny, tiny toothpicks. <laughs> what do you think? That'll work. I'll build a kiln like, yay. Maybe just use one of them. You could write it up and make it a Girl Scout merit badge. Ooh, what an idea. Make it a real pottery merit badge. Instead of, uh, then we go to the other side here, see? See how that works? It works just fine. Well, we're going to... I've heard and read a little bit. And, of course, it does smoke a bit. But we're going to see, uh, we get some flame out there, then it's time to let it set. There's, oh, almost. Sort of like a self-induced trance, like they would, you know, like, dance around and, like, chant to themselves. Nope. Like, sort of mentally let it set. You'll get some flame now. Look at that. You're getting some out there. You'll see it. But that's about as much as we want, really, I think, according to what they were writing up in the book. So anyway, that's enough for now. Maybe we'll have some later. I've been up, my jaw won't start, and can't cut wood, don't need me. Maybe we'll, if there's no wood to stove, we might shut her down, who knows? Later.